starting with the efficiency story, continuing that. Rolling chassis, 120 pounds of weight savings. The frame itself, 100 pounds of weight savings. Primarily 98% usage of high strength steels and advanced high strength steels. And if you take a look at the kiosk later, but I encourage you to pick up the samples because there's a, there's a it's notably uh, the difference in between the, the weights. The black section and the colors coordinate with the kiosk. So the black is advanced high strength steel. That's on the frame rails, it's 110 KSI. Our green, once again, advanced high strength steel, it's at 85 KSI. We use it in strategic locations like our rear for, some, for impact. Also, our C pillar mounts or A pillar mounts, and then we connect our lower control arms. Also, as we walk through the frame, these high strength steel, how we integrate it into the frame, it's a double shear welded on both sides, once again providing that strength within the frame. We do use aluminum on the frame, and strategically, like our transmission cross member, we use this aluminum that's in the gray section, and then also a small cross member underneath the engine. From a uh, passive crash worthiness side. If you take a look at the front splay rails, these are specifically engineered at 23 degree angles for front impact and for offset impact. They're octagonal in shape, they're mandrel form, they vary in thickness from two millimeters to three millimeters within that process, strategically engineered to absorb that impact, that crash impact energy prior to getting to the front wheel. Once it gets through to the front wheel, we have wheel blockers on both sides, these tubes here, that are protected from coming into the cab. These are available on all of our frame sets. Vehicle dynamics, we'll hit a couple points on that. Front suspension, we improved our roll stiffness 20%, primarily by taking our front stabilizer bar and we flipped it behind our rear tire, basically 180 degrees, really gives you a good feeling. The uh, lower control arms are aluminum, the upper control arms are composite, Stamped steel with nylon reinforced overmold strengthens the front suspension to a point now we can run 22s on our 4x4 package if you care for that. Rear suspension. We continue with our class exclusive 5 in rear coil suspension. And I mentioned that we increased our payload. We didn't deter from the ride because now we have variable rate rear springs. Really nice feature. Our shocks, four corner. FRD shocks, the frequency response damping shocks. In essence, it's a dual, dual valve shock. Best combination of ride handling and comfort which you'll experience today. Our cab mounts, we tuned in all of our cab mounts. We have now hydro mounts on our C pillar. It takes up that, that torsional load, it's a little bit of that head toss that you get as you drive down the road. Rear suspension before we get into the air, as far as uh, we do have an off-road package, it's a one-inch lifted st uh, steel package, specifically engineered with our, our points relative to our geometry to the rear axle to give you a, a connected feeling on a one-inch lifted truck. Brakes, mentioned that we have, we're have we going from testing class brake uh, stopping distance. Uh, we've increased our rotor size uh, an inch, so we're 14.9 on the front, 14.8 in the rear. Our pad, uh, our pad area has increased by 18%. Let's talk about the air suspension now. We continue with our Gen 2 air suspension. Our geometry comes with change slightly for improved ride. And it also comes with function. It's a one inch lifted from normal or ride height, that's our off-road one, two inch for off-road two. And then we have an arrow mode from normal right height that speeds above 60 miles an hour and drops six cents of an inch. Then we have an entry and exit mode that drops it two inches. Really good for getting in and out of the vehicle, also for getting a car to put it on the rear of your pickup. One other before I hand it over to, to, to Gay is, is these modules right here. Is, uh, they are our ATMM, our Active Tune Mass Modules. What they do is they enable us to extend our fuel saver mode. Our fuel saver mode is when our Hemi engine goes into four cylinder mode. And we've pushed that calibration more, uh, more and what happens is you get a little vibration, you get a little bit of auto. These take care of the vibration. There's sensors on the frame. When the frame picks up that sensation, they shake internally 180 degrees out of phase and they cancel that vibration. So the customer sees, feels nothing in the steering wheel or the seat or the floor. 
I mentioned there's an audible side to this as well. That's why we have A and C on our pickup trucks. Four microphones in the headliner, and then we pump that noise cancellation through the speakers and the subwoofer. Only thing the customer, he just enjoys better fuel economy. 